All right. Game capture. Oh my god, this, the music fucks. Oh my god, this music fucks. What the heck? How small do I need to make myself for this game? Can I stay relatively large over here? I'll figure out. We'll get into the game and I'll figure it out. We'll see if we need like the bottom right for UI. Kilometers per inch. <laughs> I see. I see. Hmm. Is KPI like a performance review at a job or something then? Anytime you start a project, when you say our... A, K a KPI when you list it out is what is a thing you need to keep track of to be able to tell if you were successful or not. So maybe it's a data point that you need to keep track of. Maybe it's a, a social phenomenon that needs to happen to be able to say that it's a success, like in a marketing scheme or something that you're planning out. It could be a lot of different things and that's why you have this vague term called KPI. So when you start a, a project, you're always like, what are the KPIs to be able to tell if this, if this was you know, it's a performance, it's a key performance indicator, literally. Kind of like a goalpost, exactly. You're like, what are the KPIs and what are the values within those things that we need to hit or what do we need to see to be able to say this was a success or um, this was not enough? Uh, what does it need to be? What level to be able to say we can continue the project but it's not quite good enough or we need to drop the project? You like to find that when you start a project so you don't stray from it and you don't get kind of lost in the weeds as you go. All right. Let me change our category. Uh, I will become the froggiest VTuber in all the land. I like to make bold claims in my titles. Category frog detective. One, the haunted island. Done. Banger. All right. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Oh, look at him. He's such a goofy dude, man. <laughs> look at him. Oh. Move using WASD. Okay. I'm moving. Oh my God, it's me. Interact using left click. All right, it outlines it. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Oh my God, look at my frog hand. <gasps> look at my frog hand. Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamat datangkem Bali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Salamat. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. What a nice man. Oh God, this will kill your voice. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> it's me and all my friends. Okay. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. 
<laughs> Peepo detective. <gasps> oh my god. Look through your magnifier with right click. <gasps> I can see it all. <laughs> I like it. The dent? He's, he's literally Pepe dent. Time to solve a mystery. Okay, okay. <laughs> Goofy fucking arms. My my goal is to make a game like this, but with the faction mascots. <gasps> I'm going to the island. A frog detective adventure. <laughs> the soundtrack's actually so good. It bangs. Meow, meow, meow. <gasps> oh my god, it's so spooky. <laughs> the action lights behind the boat. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. Starring the detective. Martin. Okay, that's Martin the Sloth. Larry. Got it. Mo the Mouse Mouse. Bernie. Fresh X. Oh, shit. And the rest. Got it. We don't care about them. Okay. Case number one. The Haunted Island. So glad we voted for Frog Detective. There's a reason why I put this on my list, okay? I'm just gonna say right now, the Frog Detective Twitter is the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. My favorite Twitter right now. I'm, I've been obsessed with the Frog Detective Twitter for a while, and it's what convinced me to play the games. <gasps> What the hell are you doing out there? What? Uh, okay, we gotta investigate. Hi. M M. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in which town, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? <laughs> I hate this already. It's so fun. <laughs> Average Twitch shatter. <laughs> my name's Pandora's Box 77, but you can just call me Pandora's Box. Questions, yes. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, uh, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. Okay, uh, where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already! Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. All right. Mystery monkey. What does it say? Hmm. Maybe a man in a suit. Interesting. Nothing on the back. What are those? Can I get in my boat? I can't get in my boat. Okay. Uh, he said the red dude. Let's go in the order he said. What the fuck is this? I can't interact. What? He <laughs> smile. I really like the magnifying glass. Okay, who are you? Larry. Hey, it's me, Larry. Hello, I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I, I didn't, I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That, that's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... I don't like being accused like this. 
I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I, are you gonna ask me questions? Yeah, ask me them. The questions I mean. Okay. Okay. The noises. What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I'm not the one making them. Yeah. But I know where they're coming from. Huh? What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, then we won't listen to you. Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe they mean, I am a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Okay. okay. <laughs> um. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That's right. Is this island populated by chatters? Uh, you know? This is literally the streamer experience. All right, the ingredients. Can you list the ingredients for the explosive dice? Toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Thanks. Okay. Toothpaste, wool, gold, pasta. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need... All right, the items. Toothpaste, wool, gold, pasta. All right, all right. Got it, got it, got it. So I'll come back when we have these explosives to find the source of the sound. Pasta. <gasps> oh, God! Oh! Okay, all right, sir. You're next. Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that the monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. It didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. So it could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? All right, what do you want to know about this hole? Yeah, there's like a hole right next to us. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? Oh, I can hear them. They're like, ooh, in the background. I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs. I'm just letting you know. But it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bernie's on to me. Secret agent, okay. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Ugh. Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. <laughs> sure you're not. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. Okay. All right, Bernie. He wants the magnifying glass. I, I don't want to... I don't want to give him my magnifying glass. I'll come back with some questions later. Suit yourself. Can I, can I get the pasta? Yum. But it's not mine. Fuck. Can I, can I? Ooh, you want this, Bernie? Ooh, you want, ooh. Oh, God, why'd he turn at me like that? What was that? Bernie, you, you're crazy. You're crazy. All right, let's, uh, you, why are you in the water? You have a shell. He's a koala. Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Uh, it's not raining yet. 
Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why's that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Huh? I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh? Why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Okay. The magnet. <laughs> what, the, what is happening? <laughs> Why did you want that magnet again? So I can attach it to the back of a boat and zoom along, obviously. Ah, right. If it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell in return. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why would you think a, mag a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? I... Okay. Okay. The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm. Maybe two weeks? Are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. <laughs> okay. Nothing for the moment, but I'll come back. Sure thing. All right. Um. You're fucking crazy. You're 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 insane. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're crazy. All right. Yeah, we got the holes. Can I go in? Oh. <gasps> I can't get any further down. Okay, okay, so the hole is shallow and I can't get into it. All right, we can look at the pasta, which we did. You, you. What the hell is this? Are you a spider? No, you have six legs. What are you? Oh God, look at its face. Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> what is that? All right. What's up, buddy? Oh, I'm waiting next to him. Howdy. Hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> me. This is me when I meet a new VTuber. Every time. Are you... <laughs> Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, d -tick. <laughs> Your clothes or your smile? <laughs> okay. Let's ask him about his clothes. Why are you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off, of course. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. So I question you on your day off. Okay. <laughs> your smile. That damn smile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. <gasps> Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles, 101 tooth whitening, and cool pace for teeth, of course. Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Cool... What? Tooth whitening cool paste for teeth? I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? Oh my god. Um, well, I, I could give you my tube. But I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. 
<laughs> okay, I need something to keep his teeth fresh. All right, you're so welcome, fresh X. Oh, God. Okay, can I go over here? No. No, can I Can I get in the water? I'm like, no, I can't go. All right, let's check out who was over here. Um. All right, all right. I, I, so I, I'm going to need various items for these people. Oh, there are more scientists. Is this the lab? Notes. Some hole. Noises? See, need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. Oh, <laughs> the magnet. This might come in handy. <gasps> Got a magnet. Okay, okay, that's for the koala. I can trade it for the shell. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. By me. Okay. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. Okay, all right. <gasps> Why you're back here? They knew. <laughs> they knew I was gonna look. Oh my God. Okay, well, I have the magnet. Right, what is this? Science line, don't go in. But what if I want to? I've got to cross the science line. Hmm. Should listen to the sign. Fuck. Okay. Hey. Noodle. <laughs> hey. How's it hanging? Fine, I guess. Bored mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't say I'm just suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Uh, your wool. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Can I peel them? <laughs> Can I peel this person? Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Oh, surely that's not true. Maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper's made out of wool. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool's pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool was gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew! Gross, right? Sure, but... Slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who's very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've ever heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross! <laughs> I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your your own wool, not your shirt. Ugh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom or like fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? <laughs> this hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole! Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. <laughs> Toe machine gifted a tier one sub to oh, zero thank you for giving a sub. Thank you so much. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. I'm stopping you. The boss. Who's the boss? I... Don't know. 
Maybe mystery monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that he just goes, okay, to like everything. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we we got it. We got to trim your wool. <gasps> oh, what would them, what them lips do? Look at him. Is there anything over here? Oh, God. All right, all right. Let's go to the back. <gasps> to the spooky part of the island. Oh, it's Martin. What it, What the fuck is he doing? Oh, my God. He's paranoid. <gasps> spooky ghosts. All right. <gasps> is this the thing I blow up later? Okay. Oh, my God. Are you investigating like me? <gasps> Can I get another magnifying glass from you? Oh. Oh, he stands up. Ah, stop right there. Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I, I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Are aren't we all? <laughs> Wait a minute. I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Uh, are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I, I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. That cave. Do you know anything about that cave? Did Giga draw this? <laughs> this thing screams of like, I wrote this. <laughs> huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Really? Yeah. F fair enough. Okay. All right. He says potato, tiny shells. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? You fool! Hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. <gasps> I'm seeing. I'm, I'm putting it together. But I don't be see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm, do I? Okay, okay, okay. I see what's going on here. I'll come back later. I like him. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, your face is fucking horrifying. Mo. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I've just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. <laughs> you seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing. I, I told you. Um, I I'm afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Fine. You've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. 
I just think Mystery Monkey's super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash mouthwash in return. Mouse wash mouse what mouse mouse what sure thing i'll do my best okay the ghost mouse wash mouthwash mouse ma okay what can you tell me about the ghost there's a ghost <gasps> aren't you a ghost scientist oh ghost scientist not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know... Uh, you know... Because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen any floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. <laughs> okay, thanks. That bottle next to you. What's in that bottle next to you? That's my mouse wash mouthwash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. I'll get to it, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Why is he so nervous all the time? <laughs> Ooh, I'll come back later. God, the head turn. Oh, look at his little foot kick. That's cute. Is there anything back here? <gasps> oh my God, that was the lightning. All right, your last. <gasps> a broom. Can I take it? Ooh, a broom. Got a broom. Perfect. Perfect. <gasps> Get steak bugged, chat. Okay. Hey. Martin. <gasps> ah, who are you? What, what kind of voice should he have? I don't even know. I feel like I've exhausted all of them. Should I have him have a funny... Uh, you know what? He'll be from New York, too. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You know what? I'll make him... I'll make him... Uh, he's from a different part of Queens. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley. I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Got questions for me? Oh god, alright, dance competition. You mentioned a dance competition, could you tell me a little more? It's Tamara. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Got questions for me? Okay. <laughs> Who's Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Amazing? Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's Tamara. Not that I'll be able to compete, but with this whole spooky situation going on. Martin sighs. All right. Oh, about the noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. 
Anyway, in the book, it says that most ghosts can, can't be seen. And get this. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Oh, oh, I, oh, I see where he's going with this, okay? Your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghosts getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery's solved. That's very dark. Dark? Just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. Centennial. Thank you so much for the gifted Thank you. It's giving me little gator flashbacks. It's so good. It's so good. I like goofy games, man. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. Oh my god, they spelled it the right way. What's a visualization exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine. You're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in, then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But, but the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The coast is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice, sandy beach. Just me in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I wanna give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Oh, <gasps> chunk of pure gold get. Wow, that's so kind. Wait, this way his, his crowns have made, it's actually pure gold. <laughs> oh, it's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Okay. Not at the moment. No questions for the time being. No problemo. All right, time to remember my voices. I don't. <gasps> oh my God. Look at him. Oh, look at the little smile of his eyes. <laughs> okay, let's give the magnet to you for the shell. What was this person's voice like? I don't remember. I don't fucking remember. 1010, this story is also better than 90% of anything on TV. Honestly, I fully agree. Always with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? All right, uh, the magnet. Can I, can I like hand it to you? <gasps> yes, yes, okay. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. <laughs> they just got it in their hand. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. 
Got a shell, all right. Now you can live your dreams and I got a shell. All right, uh, bro broom for wool and I gotta ask you about the dance. You know what? Let's ask uh, you about what kind of dance would impress somebody. I think, I think that's what we need, right? Dance styles. Here we go. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, hmm? You like dancing and, uh, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, ki kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like... Uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would swoon. I'd even go far as to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fact. Okay. My voices are going to be inconsistent. I can't remember what voice I did for who, so... uh. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Hey. You have some questions? Questions, yes. Uh, dance styles. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. <sighs> Mystery Monkey likes break dancing the best. Break dancing. I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Okay, is this a British game? I noticed how they replaced a Z with an S. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. They're top rocking. <gasps> oh shit. Ooh. 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 Get it. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, no, keep going. Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, wait. Broom for wool. And then we do mouthwash for the toothpaste. Broom for wool. Hey! I may not have all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. Okay, broom. Hey, I got that broom ready to clean. Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's so weird. Yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Oh, God. Got wool. Okay. All right. <laughs> British? Why wasn't there a warning when the game launched? Yeah, I don't fucking know. It's freaking me out, dude. The Britoids made this. Okay, uh... We're gonna go to you. We got the mouthwash. <laughs> Back for questions. Take it away, D-Tech. Mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, d -tech. <gasps> Got toothpaste. All right, all right. Very nice. Uh, What did you want from me? What was it? What was it that you wanted? Oh, you need all the stuff together. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We've got wool, gold, toothpaste, and then and then I need pasta. Do you want this shell? No, the guy in the middle wants the shell. Wait, 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 wait. No, Bernie doesn't. I, I need the magnifying glass and then I can get the pasta. Okay, okay. 
because he has his little shells, his tiny shells that he says I cannot possibly see with my terrible magnifying glass, apparently. Where the fuck are they? All right. Stance up. It's time. <laughs> Always asking questions. Ask me questions. Just be careful. Big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Oh, <laughs> magnifying glass, get, okay. All right, all right. Wait, can I take out the items? I can't. Are you happy with it? Oh, he's just staring at it. Oh my God, is this what you do? <laughs> he's just staring at it. Okay, all right. Well, you want one for, for, for the pasta maybe, right? Let's see. All right, Bernie, what else do you want to know? Magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. <gasps> interested? Are you kidding me? There's very little, nothing, literally nothing. I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I could do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta as always. Oh my God, I gave him the right accent. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. It's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Oh my god, it's explosive time. Hey. More questions? Ask me them. The questions, I mean. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything? Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's fucking go. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and then we can get exploding, baby. <gasps> oh my god. We can blow it up. Does it work? I, I, obviously, he's using the standard dynamite recipe. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry. Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into that cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm, I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Oh no, he fell over. They both fell. Oh, he's dead. Oh God. What's in the cave? Oh, he broke his neck. Oh. I need time to go into the cave. Oh, mushrooms. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Frogs can't climb ladders, of course. Okay. I just hear like drippies and I hear little insect sounds and I hear my own footsteps. <gasps> Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Do, 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 do. 
okay. Hmm. What are you? Are you a kappa? Are you a duck? The fuck is this? Oh, hi. <gasps> Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yup. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh... Who are you? Finley! Who are you? The detective. Howdy! Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around, around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh! You're Martin's friend. Yeah! What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition? It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh... Um... Jeez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. That's a British game. The Britoids, they're everywhere. Ha ha! Ha ha! Wait. Two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've... been dancing for two weeks straight? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Oh boy! Woo! <gasps> Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi! Hey! Hi! What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You. What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. <laughs> Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But my ghost books... I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It just goes to show you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. Grace Bruxner. Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. 
but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks, Grace. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the mouse. I heard a cat. You better not be touching stuff. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I see you touching stuff in the sink. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah! 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 Before we dance, I just want to say... Thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry? Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yup. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. Oh my god, it's time. Oh my god, it's time. So why did you decide to play these games? Is it not self-evident? Oh, shit! Oh my god. Woo! Look at him go. Oh my god. Bernie in the back is breakdancing. Oh my god, and, Mo, and, Mo's, and Mo's doing the robot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Woo. Kalonica Quigley. Is, is that a real name? Is that your name? Your name's incredible, whomever you are. Kalonica? Kalonica? Oh, my God. Thanks, everybody, for a great game. <laughs> the frog dances so well. His animation kind of goes so hard. Huegos Rancheros. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute, who's judging? I'll do it. <gasps> oh my god, I get to judge the competition. Oh! Ooh! Oh shit, Larry. Oh my god. Oh, ooh. Bust it down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. That's me. That's me. Borderline crumping. Oh, shit. Oh, he's so tall. <gasps> you would never know with how he was lying down like one of your French girls. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh. That's half the dudes in the club. Half of them. Ooh. That's, that's really, she was practicing this for two weeks. Mood. Oh. Wait, I like this. I like that. What the fuck are you doing? Come on. What? Come on. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Frog is the best answer. Clearly. But I'm judging. So, like, I can't, you know, I can't vote for myself. Can I? Or maybe I can't. <laughs> Pick the winner. Ugh. Oh. Who'd you like the dancing of the most, chat? Who would you like to pick? Uh, the, the duck is here. The duck is behind me. Who do you like? You like you liked Mo? I, I mean, Mo worked really hard. Gator, sloth, the gator. He was good, but like, Koala hit the stanky leg? I know. But but Mo, but Mo was doing the robot. I, I, 
uh, I don't you you like Martin uh, Martin was pretty good Martin was pretty good poll all right all right guys it's very important to poll who won let's do I'll, I'll just do the names like mouse I won't do the names like the actual names mouse gator uh sloth s s s sloth uh let's put in so people like the koala um, and I heard, I saw like one of you say lobster, like one of you. Boom. Who's the winner? What if you don't pick the king and he just banishes you for it? I'll fucking lose it. I'll fucking lose it if Martin, I swear to God. I swear to God, if I get banished for not picking him. Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> he did have schmoofs though. I mean, some of them are pretty good. Definitely not this damn duck or chicken, whatever the hell she is. This bird? No way. Why is she the only one with eyes like that, huh? Most important poll. <laughs> Vote Sloth or he'll turn you into broth. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, my God. Mo is winning by a fucking landslide. <gasps> Whoa. I would have won. <laughs> Do you think I can get these as VR chat models? Do you think someone's imported them into VR chat or rebuilt them? I kind of, I kind of want them. <laughs> we'll hit a VR chat dance competition. Ooh, Mo the Mouse wins with fifty-six percent of the vote. My God. My God. Incredible. There is a frog detective one. All right, let's go. <gasps> got flowers and a trophy and everything oh my god that gator's so tall incredible i love this game <laughs> i love this game <laughs> i think this game is so good i love this game so much what now? A little bit later. Hold on, guys. Don't celebrate yet. Don't celebrate yet. Oh my God. Okay. Oh! <gasps> it's from my time at the island. Oh. oh my God. Frog detective crime solving agency. Frog detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective! Supervisor! Where you work on the haunted island mystery? Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. <laughs> Alu! You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV! Every channel! Every channel? In H HD! Don't forget this is a UK game, we have to be respectful. Cool! I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Officer Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case to tighten? <laughs> I was expecting him to be like, you're the best one now, but he's, he's like, no. I can handle anything. <gasps> so true. The detective will return in. <gasps> the case of the invisible wizard. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh! Foreshadowing the second game. Oh, my God. Schedule it now. We will play it. Frogdetective.net. <laughs> I love this game. I think this is one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, my God. It's real. Look at him go. Alu. Alu. That was incredible. That was only like an hour long game. Oh my God. That 
that was amazing. I, I love this game. Just me and the boys hanging out, having a great time. I love this game. We'll definitely play a speed run it. <laughs> I probably could. We'll definitely play the next two. 100% we're gonna play them. We're gonna play these games and Doom Eternal. Odd taste, maybe, to put next to each other, but you know what? I like them. Uh, I'm gonna continue Tears of the Kingdom on YouTube. I might do one or two streams of it here still to get like the major story stuff done, but any side stuff I'm gonna do either totally on my own or on YouTube, okay? Um, that's all I have on the slate for right now. I'll just leave it at that and not pile on too many things. And then Sunday, we're checking out indie games. So I'm not going to chat for too long Sunday. We're going to talk for like literally an hour maximum. And I'm going to set a timer. As soon as I see that thing hit an hour, I'm going to be like, all right, it's game time. And then we're going to play through a gauntlet of a few different games and test out indie stuff and see what we think of them. Okay. I think I'll just put myself in like the games and demos category for that. I don't know. So that for today, I sure did. <laughs> I sure did. But then I knew that this was on the list and I was like, oh, this is short. <laughs> it's whatever. It's whatever. Bye, queen. But yeah, that's that's good for today. About five and a half hours. Sick. Um, I was thinking of scheduling an extra YouTube stream for either tomorrow or Saturday to just do a little more Tears of the Kingdom and continue that. So we have like once a week, I'm, I'm doing something on that. Uh, I'll just post about it when it happens. I'll I'll post, the, whenever I post the waiting room for it, if I'm doing it, which I think I am, I'm not I'm, I'm not sure when, uh, it will be in Discord and on Twitter that you will see it and on my YouTube. So make sure you are subbed to the YouTube or you're in Discord to get pings or you follow my Twitter and you actually look at my tweets. One of those. Otherwise, you're not gonna know about it because you're not gonna see me on Twitch when I do that because it's not Twitch, it's YouTube. So do that. Because there are a few people that saw afterward that I streamed on YouTube, the last chunk of Tears of the Kingdom, and they were like, what, what do you mean? What do you mean you streamed and I missed it? And I was like, you, you gotta, you have to go somewhere other than Twitch to find out. So don't forget it. <laughs> 